Hey, Mike Stott here from Your Coaching Matters. And thanks so much for looking into our Lead a Day program. We're committed to having you generate a new lead every day in under 28 minutes. And, you know, we wanted to give you a tool to show you some of the things that we offer as a coaching company. And this is just a simple Excel spreadsheet. I'm not going to train you on Excel. I'm not going to train you on all the formulas that are in it. I'm going to assume that you know a little bit about how to use Microsoft Excel and that you know a little bit about how to find what the tax office records and values might be for homes in your neighborhood. So this, this was a particular seller that I went and met with earlier this week. They happened to have been a for sale by owner and they told me that they really wanted to list for about $340,000. And it's an original condition house um, built um, in 1980, you know, original kitchen, original everything. And so what we have is, is in every area of the country except for California, and there may be a couple of other areas that don't work, and it doesn't work in California because of Proposition 13, you're able to find a tax assessed value. In our area, you just go into the MLS, and in the MLS, you can search. And if you searched any subdivision um, or any particular area, let's just do a zip code um, 30066. If you come in and if you look at any listing on Dillon's Chase, it you know, here's a nice property, it's listed at 685, and we get the tax information here and it tells you that it's assessed for 410,000. Now, the way I explain this sheet is, is, you know, I go through and I enter all the information. So on this particular house, it's assessed at 273, it was listed at 374, now it's listed at 350, and that assessed value is 128%. I see whether it's um, pending or not, or what the net sales price is, the square footage of the house, I figure out, a dollar per square foot value for the house, the size of the lot, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and the sold listing, same thing, except for I do the net sales price. So I take the sales price less any seller concessions and put that figure in here. And what we come up with is a, a value for what homes are actually selling for. And you can see it tends to be fairly consistent. Obviously, the more information you have, the more you have, the better the value is going to be in most neighborhoods. You don't have to include every sale. You can narrow it to the range you think the home might be worth. And then what I come up with is if I use the assessed value for this particular house is $233,000. If it sold for 117% as the average value, it should sell for about $274,000. The active listings are considerably higher. Um, a little more unrealistic, one might say, and they might expect to sell for 320. If I used an average square foot dollar per square foot value of $125, I might have 272. You could add in the Zillow estimate if you want, which is 323, and the tax office records give a range also, a high range in my area. So you can just get rid of these two if you want. You know, it doesn't really affect the analysis in this case. And then I merely have a formula that pops up that prices it below the average of the five methods between 10% below or 10% over. The magic of this form is not what the numbers are because you can jiggle the numbers. You can include comparables or delete them, but it's in this. And you use this sort of language with it. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, you know you've interviewed other agents or you're talking to other agents. Did they have a, a form like this that showed you exactly what the value is? Now, I realize that's a $60,000 swing, but it takes into account um, condition and everything else, you know, about your house, the lot and all those intangibles that I couldn't see till I came over today. Are you comfortable listing your house in this range? And you, you narrow down the range, you go over, you know, which house is most like it. In this case, the most likely sell sale is, um, you know, they've got a, a finished basement and this house has a, a large basement that's unfinished. So this is probably the closest comp and it sold for 261. This one had an unfinished basement. It was a little bit smaller, sold for 275. So I knew going over that I wanted to price this home below 300,000. 
she saw this and she said, well, could I price it maybe at 289? And I, you know, we haggled and we ended up, we're going to list it at um, 287, 500, which for other reasons. But here's the real key. And this is what shows you add value to the negotiating side is that if we get an offer, Mrs. Seller, and say they come in at 275 and you're listed at 287, 500, we're going to pull this spreadsheet back out and show that the average of the five methods, Zillow thinks it's worth 323. Of course, that would be if it had a new kitchen and it was all in great condition. But the lowest, you know, assessed value, I'd get rid of some of these things and I'd use maybe just a dollar per square foot. That the dollar per square foot value shows that the house is worth every penny of 272 when you add in the basement, which I haven't factored in yet. And so, you know, we sell on emotion, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. However, we also like to back it up with rational reasons. And since you have a thousand square foot basement that isn't put in here, and that basement's worth $15 a foot, that's worth another $15,000. So I would jiggle this, and then I'd say plus 15,000, you know, for the basement, and it would show automatically that the, the prices went up. So based on square foot, I'd get rid of, you know, I'd use this tool to justify the price and to justify to the seller how we add value in negotiation. So I'd send a letter back along with a copy of the spreadsheet and I'd say, hey, thanks so much for your offer. We really appreciate it. We want your buyers to buy this house, you know, and we've countered your price from 275 to 285 and we realize that that's $10,000, but in today's terms at 4.25%, that only means $46 a month more. So your buyers can buy this house for $46 a month more and they're protected by an appraisal. So they can't really overpay for the house. We look forward to working with you. That's how this tool is used. Hope you like it. If you have a question, you know, beyond this, join the, the Lead a Day program. For $28 a month, that's a great deal. And we can go over it on the Coaches Inn on Tuesdays at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thanks.